Told you it would only take you a few minutes. But now look, that's a far cry from having it as a habit. No doubt. But, but I'll tell you this: if you can do this properly, you're gonna you'll have a habit in no time. And that that is really good for just learning it. So that's really. But I tell you what, I mean, look at the shaft is coming down on a nice path to the ball. See how it's traveling right down the path plane? That was a shank. Yeah, that's the one I shanked right there. But I tell you, that's still the swing shape I want you to have. And this one you did nice. Look at that. That's pretty good. And it went straight. So yeah, I mean you got you got to be conscious of this action and You're doing a good job of making sure the takeaway see how the hands now look at the difference just in I don't know 45 minutes. This was your swing when you started All right, so Here's the angle you took it back way underneath Look at the difference in these two swings. So, you need feedback. And what is feedback? You need a stick to practice. Make sure you do it properly. Again, you just stick that pole just slightly above the, the height of the shaft. So, right there. The club head's going to stay to the outside of that shaft or that alignment rod or whatever you decide to use. Uh -huh. And the hands are going to run right up that shaft. And then you're going to drop it in like you did here. And you're going to hit good shots. And eventually you can bring that up to speed. Right. That's great. That's great.